Just cleaning all the free bleed off the old hands after a hard day's feminising. I love you more than cupcakes. Hmm. I wonder who or what she loves more than cupcakes. Obviously regular size cakes. Holy fuck, there's two of them! We're gonna have to dramatically increase our cake production! We do not want to make them angry! Alright, let's look at your options here. What options? I just want to get rid of him. Bastard. I hate guys like this. It's the norm. If you could finish him off. <laughs> Kill him, I mean. What the fuck is this? Gee, that's a bit harsh. I realise you get a fright when you first see her, but she is a person. She deserves a little bit of dignity. Todd, Francie, Francie Todd! Oh, that! That's a tied up black guy who's had the shit kicked out of him by these two fat bitches for some reason. I'm sorry about the mess, I'll clean it up. Yeah, you will, like right now. Well, to be fair, I, I, I don't know that they've kicked the shit out of him. They, they were just free bleeding everywhere. I'm trying to decide what to do with him. What happened? Francie, take your shoes off, you're gonna get blood all over the apartment. <laughs> That's your fault. That's what he said. What? He said I was asking for it. Same shit. Wait, asking for what? Asking for a compliment. <laughs> Who the fuck asks for a compliment? Can you say I'm pretty and not horrendously fat? Oh, well, I could use a compliment. Can you give me a compliment, Todd? Please. Shut up and stay down! Kelly! That almost got my mouth! <laughs> if only you could say the same thing about those millions and millions and millions and millions of cakes. Wait, so did you ask? Ask what? For a compliment. No one asks for a fucking compliment. It wouldn't be a compliment if you did. It'd just be some poor petrified bastard cowering at some angry rhinoceros. Does it sound like I asked for a compliment? <laughs> Jeez, I'm just asking. <sighs> So, she was on the train and the guy... Hey, 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 let's tell the whole story here. She was on the train next to one guy who was taking up about five centimetres worth of the picture and another guy who was taking up around four and a half centimetres worth of the picture while she was taking up around six and a half centimetres worth of picture. But I suppose those two oppressive shitbags were most likely man-spreading so they didn't crush their testicles. Fucking misogynists. Uh, Todd. Uh, whatever. Uh, whatever. He's staring at me like I have ten heads or something and he won't let it go. And he's manspreading, motherfucker. So it's her stop. So I get off. And he touches her. Touches you. Touches you? Where? Where? Oh, 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 oh. Let me tell the story and enough with the slapping and the blood. He tapped on the shoulder. He raped? I mean, tapped you on the shoulder? What a fucking monster! So I take my headphone out and he says... Tell Francie what you said. Yeah, tell Francie what you said. Pervert. You look beautiful. You look beautiful?! So I say thanks and I keep moving. And then I hear him whisper... Tell us what else you said, motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. Tell us what else you said. You have a great ass. Sorry, mate, I couldn't hear you. Did you happen to catch what he said, fat bitch number two? Sorry? Can't hear you? You have a great ass. Should have kept your mouth shut. Didn't your daddy teach you to keep your thoughts to yourself? Or not to tell fibs. Probably not, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Fucking jeans, though. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, oh God. Yeah, over yourself. I wear my tight pants because they make me feel good. Not for your viewing pleasure. Look. Appreciate and keep your mouth shut. Simple. Yeah, that was really, really funny, guys. I mean, it's just fucking hilarious when a bunch of people make a satirical video about kidnapping a member of the opposite sex, bringing them back to your apartment, kicking the fuck out of them, then debating on whether or not you should kill them and dump their body. Me and my mates are planning to do one about this chick we know real soon. We expect it to go down really, really well. 
But seriously, I'm getting pretty tired of these horrible cunts talking about physically harming men, then responding to the backlash by hiding behind the supposed fact that it was only a joke. In March 2015, Laura Kipnis, a professor from Northwestern University in Chicago, wrote in one of her essays published in the Chronicle of Higher Learning that sexual harassers should be chemically castrated, stripped of their property, and hung by their thumbs in the nearest public square. But I suppose, if you haven't sexually harassed anyone, you've got nothing to worry about. And we all know the lengths you've got to go to these days to be considered a sexual harasser. Hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? Somebody's acknowledging you for getting beautiful. She said, hey, you But to be fair, after she got a heap of backlash, Laura Kipnis did say she was only joking. But then there's Julie Bindle, a prominent journalist for the Guardian newspaper, who in an interview with the Radfem Collective said referring to men and boys, I would actually put them all in some kind of camp where they can all drive around on quad bikes or bicycles or in white vans. I would give them a choice of vehicles to drive around in, give them no porn, they wouldn't be able to fight, we would have wardens of course, Women who want to see their sons or male loved ones would be able to go and visit or take them out like a library book and then bring them back. But in all fairness, Julie did respond to all the backlash by saying she was only joking. Then there's Australian columnist Clementine Ford, who is known for her regular social media posts along the lines of All men must die, all of them, or But it's delicious cake made out of dead men and their sad feelings. But again, to be fair, Clementine does regularly tell us to lighten up because she is only joking after all. Now, when Adelaide hotel worker Michael Nolan tweeted back the single word slut, he clearly wasn't joking. He was being a misogynistical dick lord. So Clementine did the only reasonable thing she could do, contacted his employer, had a massive whinge and got him fired. Well, you know what, ladies? I say fuck your jokes. Fuck your double standards and fuck you.